In this video, we will go over weighted mean. So weighted mean is like an average, but instead some data points contribute more weight than others in calculating the resulting average. A great example in some college classes, some classes are worth more than others in calculating the overall GPA. For example, a four credit math class versus a one credit handball class. So say you took five one credit PE class, handball, racquetball, tennis, basketball, and soccer, and you receive an A, a 4.0, in all of these PE classes. But you also took one math class, which was worth three credits by itself, and you got a 2.0, so you got like a C. And so if you were to calculate regular average, it would be four plus four plus four plus four plus four plus two. You have five PE classes, and you got fours. And your one math class, you got a two. Divided by six, because you took six classes, five PE class and one math class. So that would be the sum of the total grade divided by number of classes, and so you would get a 3.67. However, that's not your weighted average or your GPA, because you gotta factor in the weight. So you have five classes, and each class weight was one, and you got a four in each class. Plus, you took one class, the weight was three, and you got a two points. Divided by your five classes times the weight plus the one class that you took, your one math class, times the weight of three. And this right here would give us a 3.25. So clearly this is a lower number and it makes sense. You did really bad in your math class and it was worth more. That's why your GPA is lower. So this is this right here is the standard formula for weighted mean, which we did use when we calculated here. So let's do another problem. So you're in school and your grades are determined by attendance, test, quiz, and homework. These are the categories. The weight for attendance is 5%, test is 60%, quiz is 15%, and homework is 20%. You received for attendance a perfect score, you got 100. Quiz average is a 90, test average is an 80, and homework average is 100. So we wanna know what grade will be in your report card. And so if you want, you can pause the video and maybe even attempt to solve this problem. So I did five times 100. Attendance weight is 5% and I got 100, so times 100. Plus test percentage is 60% and I got a 80, 60 times 80. Plus 15% for quiz and I received a 90, 15 times 90 plus 20% for homework, and I received 100, 20 times 100, all over 100. Our weight is total 100%. Five plus 60 plus 15 plus 20. 60 plus 20 is 80, 15 plus five is 20, 80 plus 20 is 100, 100%. That's why here's 100. And so if you use a calculator, this right here would give us an 86.5. So your report card grade will be 86.5, and or maybe if you're lucky, it would round to an 87. And let's think, does this actually make sense? You did pretty low on your test, averages an 80, and that, that's worth a lot, 60%. But your perfect attendance and your perfect homework helped your grade up to an 87. That pretty much makes sense. That's pretty much it regarding weighted mean.